your sample size increases, then your um, sampling distribution is approaching a more normal distribution and your variability is becoming less. Now, how big of a sample do we need to make sure that our sample can accurately describe our population parameter? And that's what we're going to learn in today's lesson. How are we going to determine the sample size or the minimum sample size in estimating our population mean in our confidence interval? Now, this is this particular formula right here is very familiar because this is the formula for the margin of error in our confidence interval in estimating the population mean. Now, we are going to derive our formula in determining the sample size based on our margin of error, where E is the maximum error of estimate, Z star is your critical value, and your population standard deviation is denoted by sigma, and the small letter n is your sample size. Now the formula that we are going to derive out of our margin of error and our maximum error of estimate will give us sample size should be greater than or equal to z star population sigma all over e quantity squared. And this is what we're using in determining the sample size of our confidence interval so that we can safely assume that the population parameter will be um, captured with this sample size. Now in this word problem, researchers are interested to estimate the mean cholesterol level of a particular variety of monkey. Now researchers would like their estimate within one milligram per deciliter of the monkey's blood at 95% confidence level. Now previous studies suggest that the standard or the population standard deviation is equal to 5 milligrams for per deciliter. Now, we know that obtaining monkeys is expensive and time consuming. What is the minimum number of monkeys would they need to generate a satisfactory estimate? Now, to um, determine the number of monkeys we need as a researcher to make sure that our population mean will be captured in our interval. 95% at a time, so we'll have to use our formula in that particular word problem. So now we know that our population sigma is given, which is at 5 milligrams per deciliter of blood. Our confidence level is 0.95. Our Z star for confidence level of, level of 0.95 is 1.96, and our maximum error is equal to 1 year. So to use the formula in determining the sample size, we'll be able to find the minimum number of monkeys we need to make our um, confidence interval at 95% confidence level. So we have n greater than or equal to 1.96, which is your z star, times the population sigma of 5, all over e, which is 1. Now square it, and you'll get 97. So in this particular research, for you to be 95% confident that your population parameter will fall in your interval, you will need at least 97 monkeys to be able to make your research successful at 95% confidence level.